Hello students, um, today we are going to start talking a little bit more about comparatives and superlatives. First of all, we need to know when do we use them. One of the most common uses of the comparative sentences is to compare things, places, or people to another one of them. Also, when we make a comparison, we use the word then. For example, as you can see here, we have Mark is taller than Anita. And in the second example, we have Santiago is more interesting than Arika. Right? So, what are we having here? What are we comparing in the first sentence? As you can see there, we're comparing Mark and Anita's height. Right? And we are saying that Mark is taller than her. So, let's see some of the things that we need to have in mind. For you to create a comparative sentence, we need to know that we have adverbs and adjectives, okay? First of all, adverbs describe how actions are being done, okay? In this case, we have the first example that says, Marshall talks faster than his brother. What are we comparing here? We are comparing Marshall uh, and his brother, right? But we are referring to the way Marshall talks, okay? In this case, Marshall talks faster than his brother, okay? In the other part, adjectives describe how people, things, and places are, okay? In this case, we have Marshall is more responsible than his brother, okay? What are we comparing here? Marshall and his brother, and we are referring um, to the fact that Marshall is more responsible than his brother, so we are describing Marshall move on. Something that you need to have in mind when talking about comparative sentences is that we have short and long adjectives, okay? Short adjectives are the one that only have one syllable, okay? For example, small or big, and then they end with er. For example, if I have the word small, if I use it in the comparative form, it will be smaller, and if I have the word big, it will be bigger, right? Um, on the other hand, long adjectives are the ones that have two or more syllables. For example, dangerous or important, okay? When we have long adjectives like this ones, um, we are going to start using more at the beginning, uh, I mean before the adjective, right? So, um, in this case we have more dangerous and we have more important. For example, I can say that snakes are more dangerous than rabbits, for example, right? Um, one. Other comparative form that we can find here is not as or as, which is going to be really useful for us when we want to compare different degrees of similarity or difference, okay? For example, here we have The Office, which is a TV show, and we are comparing it with Friends, which is another TV show. I'm pretty sure you must know it. Um, in this case, the sentence says that The Office is not as good as Friends, okay? What are we saying here? We are comparing how good the shows are, right? And um, it says that The Office is not as good as Friends, right? So the second sentence, it says Santiago is as good as Viña del Mar. What are we saying here? We're saying that they are practically the same, okay? So another comparative form that you have is less, okay? We use less as the opposite of more. So you use it only with long adjectives or adverbs, okay? For example, uh, we have Amazon Prime and then we have Netflix. How are we comparing this? We are saying that Amazon Prime Prime is less popular than Netflix, okay? The second one, it says some cell phones work less efficiently than others, okay? As you can see here, the second one, we're using an adverb because we're comparing, I mean, we are um, describing the way cell phones work, and in this case, uh, some of them work less efficiently than others, okay? Now, we also have something that is called superlatives. 
okay? When we use superlatives, we are comparing one thing, one person, or one place to a whole completely category, okay? So, for example, here you can see that it says, my best friend is the best in the world. What am I saying? I'm, I'm referring that my best friend is the best that you can find in the whole world, okay? Which is the category, the world. Something that you need to have in mind when you're talking about superlative uh, forms uh, is that we can also use additives and adverbs. We already know what those are. And um, we use additives with one syllable with the ending EST, okay? For example, small is a one syllable additive. And to make it a superlative form, you're going to add EST. For example, small, smallest, or nice, nicest. In this case, nice ends with an E. So you only have to add the ST, okay? Um, meanwhile, when we're talking about the adverbs, we also have one syllable adverbs, right? In this case, we have hard and we have fast. Um, both of them are going to need the ending EST to make the superlative form. For example, it's not going to be hard anymore, it will be hardest, or fast is going to be fastest, okay? Uh, when we have additives with two or more syllables, uh, we are going to start using the most, okay? For example, with the word popular, I'm going to say the most popular or the most important. While when uh, we're talking about the adverbs, we are going to use the most only when the adverb ends in li. For example, we have the word confidently and then we have the word, the word frequently, right? So both of them are going to need most before the adverb in this case, okay? So I hope this will help you uh, to understand a little bit more uh, when you're talking about comparative and superlatives and you have enjoyed it, okay? Talk to you later. See you.